In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add basic authentication via Superbase to your Bolt.new app. Now, if you don't know what Superbase is, it's basically a development platform that will let you also host a database along with what are called edge functions. These edge functions are super important for Bolt.new because you can use them to connect to things like Stripe, to create a database, to talk to in real time and store the data from your app, to talk to things like OpenAI and Claude behind the scenes, as well as add authentication using Google sign in or Facebook sign in. What Superbase enables out of the box is an easy integration into some sign ins such as email, setting an email and password, as well as other platforms that are more widely known, including things like Google, GitHub, Facebook, Discord, etc. So using Superbase is one of the easiest ways to add email and pass authentication, especially if you want to do it in a very short amount of time. Now, if you haven't seen Superbase before, it looks something like this when you log in. You'll have a series of different tabs, and the one we'll focus on is the Projects tab. So what you want to do is, if you're entering for the first time, you want to click on New Project. And once you do that, you'll be able to call this whatever you want. So we'll call this Bolt Demo Project. And all you have to do here is enter a password. So we'll just put Bolt123. And then we'll close that. We'll create a new project. Now you can see here my Superbase instance is ready and we can tell that by the project status with a green button. Sometimes this will take anywhere from three to five minutes depending on your configuration of the database you're setting up, but it should be straightforward and then you can use it out of the box immediately. So let's try to actually use this in action. So I'm gonna build an app here that allows me to enter my roadmap for building my first web app using vibe coding by dragging on a different set of elements onto the screen to construct it with the ability to sign in via email and password. Now you're going to want to just ask for the user interface to be designed first and then it should just basically have a button that you can use to log in but once you actually click it it shouldn't be able to do anything yet until we actually enable that in Superbase itself. All right so now we have our login page and if we open this up in a new tab you'll see it looks like this. So if we go to sign up here and click on here and we say mark we put mark at gmail.com and we enter some random password there's no actual authentication. So it should let us create the account with no real logging of that username and we should be able to use our app out of the box. But obviously we want our sign in and login to be functional. So we'll do that by going back to Bolt and then all we have to do is go into the integrations here, select Superbase and this will let you very easily connect to your Superbase database. So I'm going to go down to one called Bolt Demo. We'll do connect project. So now it's connecting to Superbase and this will take anywhere from 10 seconds to a couple minutes to fully hook up. But once it's ready, we can now start building functionality into our app using the logins from Superbase. Now you should get a confirmation that you're now connected to Superbase. And if you want to double check, you should be able to see this Superbase icon right here that when you hover over and click, you see the name of the actual database you connected to. So now we'll go back into Superbase and enable the email authentication. So now that we're here, if we hover to the left, we can go and click on authentication and then we can click on sign in and then providers. And then once we see that, you'll see by default, email is enabled. One thing we wanna do is just to make our lives a little easier while we're testing this app, we'll toggle off the confirm email. Now, typically this is when you sign up you get some form of link in your email that you have to click to enable the account or verify the account. And while this is super important to build in production level apps, if you're building this just to test it out and go back and forth, you can unclick confirm email and then that will basically allow you to enter whatever email you want, go through that experience, and then you can come back later to set that up because it is a slightly different process to make sure that you have something called a callback URL that's listening for that confirmation to actually log that that email has been verified. Right here, you can actually dictate how long the password should be, whether there are any specific password requirements. In our case, we'll keep it simple and we'll just click save here. And then once we do that, it says successfully updated settings. And now if we go back into Bolt, I will just dictate our instruction. I'll say, we have now connected email authentication to Superbase. So make sure that the front end of the screen is actually logging the emails used to create accounts and log into accounts in our Superbase instance. So in this case, we'll just send that over to make sure that the connection between the front end and the back end, which is Superbase, are making that handshake. And what's a really good practice is actually to audit what's happening in Bolt.new. So you can see here, it's created a file for Superbase. It's creating something called auth context, which is where it's going to log basically what's happening with that login. Then you have an auth form, which is likely just going to connect that login screen to hook it up to a Superbase instance, and it's gonna keep going until it's ready to go. 
All right, so here Bolt confirms that we've made the authentication connection to Superbase. It gives you a summary of the changes. And if you are inclined to just take a look, you can click on code here and you can visibly see we have an auth form, we have auth context right here, and a few other files as well. So if we blow this up in another screen and we go into sign up and we try this again, I'll just put some email here, mark123 at gmail.com. And we'll say mark123, create account. Now it does create an account in this case. And if we were to check in Superbase, we should be able to see it logged. So in Superbase, instead of clicking on sign in partners, we want to click on this users tab. And if this actually logged, then when we click on users, we should be able to see an ID, my email, and then a created ad date and a last sign on date by default. So we know this is working. So if we go back to the app and we click sign out, we should be able to go sign in with those credentials. So mark123 at gmail.com. All right, and then mark123, sign in. And there we go. You now have a email and password sign in enabled and authenticated. And yes, you can add on confirming your email as another layer of security and change the password requirements. But this is all you need to get started and enable basic authentication in your app.